And there in the distance, we're just starting to see the manor house. So as you can see, we have quite a ways to walk still. So this morning I'm at Shugborough Estate. Um, and what's interesting about this estate and what's kind of unique about it is it's one of the um, only fully intact estates that's left in Great Britain. And so you can really get a good idea of what a wealthy estate would have looked like. So this is the walled garden. There's some workers in here this morning, and these are all um, people who work for the foundation, the national, for the National Trust that maintains these types of exhibits. This is where the pigs would have been kept. Yeah. You can see they had an outdoor yard and then a shelter that they could go into. Um, and they're doing some work here right now so that they, they've taken the livestock out. Normally there would be pigs in here for you to see, but right now they're empty. So these are the piggeries. These would have housed Longhorn cows, and the sign says they're currently out in the fields while work is being done here on this part of the manor because they're very sensitive to the noise and all the changes. And I don't know how well you can see that, but this is the water wheel. You can probably hear it. This is the mill, and this is what the water wheel is turning would have been used to grind the grains. And then here's some more smaller implements. Out back of the barn area, there's some chicken coops. So this would have been the front door to the farmhouse that we just toured. And looking at the house, um, it was pretty good size and it looks like the people that lived here lived pretty well for the time and considering that they 
um, were paid workers here on the farm. Um, it was so big, obviously it wasn't just their living quarters. You could tell that they did a lot of the work for the family. They probably pressed the cheese, did all of the cooking, um, prepared and preserved a lot of the food that was raised here on the estate. So it was a multi-purpose farmhouse. It was both living quarters and a workplace. So now I'm walking across the estate towards the servants' quarters. Um, we're passing what they call Tower of the Winds here. And there's really no information about what it was. Um, it doesn't look like a windmill. It does look like somebody could have lived there, so I don't really know. And that's been my only complaint so far about this estate is that there's a lot to see, but there's almost nothing in the way of explanation so that you're not exactly sure what you're looking at. And you kind of have to glean what you know from history. Um, this, I'm just seeing, has some beautiful stained glass. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture that or not. Um, so I'll have to see if I can find out more about Tower of the Winds and what it was used for. But you can see this is a vast estate. It's a beautiful place to come on a sunny afternoon, let the kids run, or just get some exercise of your own. So now we're getting closer to the mansion. You can see it's quite impressive. It looks like a very large hotel, but it was a house. Um, over here, there's some cattle. This is back where we came from. Way back over there, you can barely see the car park.
This was this library. Looks like a pretty extensive one. All of the walls are lined with books. Even the door was disguised as a bookshelf. So we're looking back here at the main mansion and as you come over these are the servants quarters and the laundry kitchens and so forth so they were separate from the main house they had their own wing and they worked downstairs and lived upstairs well i stopped for a little bit of lunch I had a jacket potato, which is what they call baked potatoes here, with cheddar cheese, and it was really good. 
um, and then I had some pea lettuce and mint soup which was surprisingly good I didn't really think I would like it that much but I really really did so now I'm walking in uh, around back of the house to the gardens I've left the mansion back there and I'm walking here along this little river I guess it's a river maybe just a really big creek and the gardens continue way back here um, there's supposedly an arboretum and a boathouse down this way so that's where I'm headed I can tell you this estate is massive and I'm not talking about just the pure acreage that they have but just the part that they have to maintain uh, including this path and the gardens the planted flowers there's daffodils all along this walk and as you can see lots of shrubbery that they have to maintain and uh, in the distance I can see a beautiful bridge and I think I'm I think this path is headed for that but it, this is quite impressive this is definitely British aristocracy here and uh, I'm very glad that it was turned over to the trust and that they are maintaining it. It's absolutely beautiful. Found the boathouse right down here in this little cove. So they would have kept small boats, and you can see the bridge is just over there. I'm gonna walk over to that in just a minute. Very, very pretty down here. Quiet and peaceful. I'm walking on the other side of the mansion now as you come out the back and take a right the path goes down that direction as well and there's a Chinese house down here supposedly I see the, the red bridge so I think I'm getting close <laughs> 